Thank you so much for staying with Sunrise. Our guests start partnering for a one-day virtual retreat like no other. The event, which is dubbed Gimira, will be an intense six-hour practical, interactive, and theoretical virtual training. Let's welcome Dr. Eris Latto, world-renowned sun-fired food scientist and founder of Sun-Fired Culinary Institute, and Stacia. Uh, Davidson, founder of Raw Food Challenge JA, to share more. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it looks so bright Listen. and alert <laughs> and festive. Good morning. Now, to start off, tell us what is sun-fired food and, and why is it important, Dr. Latam? Okay, well, sun-fired foods, basically, it just acknowledges that the sun is the universal chef. The sun cooks for us all. The foods that are original, natural, and best for human consumptions are cooked by the sun. So we have, we have a bunch here. Coconuts, <laughs> mangoes, papa, you name it. So when, when the banana is green on the tree from the time it blossoms, the cooking pot is on. And by the time you have a ripe and ready awaken, <laughs> fully ready to eat ripe banana, then the pot is ready. It's been cooked to perfection by the sun. So to actually take a green banana and boil it, we're trying to force ripe. So <laughs> it's foods that are cooked by the sun, and the sun cooks for everyone on the planet. <laughs> right. I'm happy that you've set the tone right there, because when I hear about the science behind food and you're combining rhythmic eating and fasting, the question really is, what lures us to a, a plate of or a serving of food or vegetables or, or fruits? And how do our bodies react to it? Um, is that the rhythm uh, of it? Um, what's the signal that it sends to our bodies? And how do we react to those signals? Yes. Well, obviously, just beginning, we need to know the human body. And Let's just look at our day, our typical day, 24 hours. Divide that day into three equal parts of eight hours. So we go through a three-phase cycle every day. Cycle number one is obvious, when we're sleeping for eight hours. What is the body doing during this time? It is repairing itself. It's the reparation mode. It's breaking down cells that it can no longer utilize and building new cells. For the next eight hours, once we have awakened, now the body is in elimination mode. It's releasing the waste from the work that it did the night before. And then the third phase is the intake mode, putting in the building material to keep the engine moving. So right now we are on phase two. We are on the break fast mode. Mm. Automatically the body goes into breakfast between 4 a.m. and 12 noon. So as the sun rises, we rise with the sun. So you, you, you hear the, the rooster, you hear the wild fowl in the yard, 4 a.m., wake the town and tell the people the energy of the sun is coming, it's here. So those eight hours, as the sun rises and it burns the clouds out of the sky, it burns the mucus out of our body, we go out and work, we climb our coconut tree, work into the yard, the construction work, whatever you're doing, open up the organs of elimination that is the largest, which is our skin. We go bust our sweat. That's it. And then afternoon, 12 noon to 8 p.m., we put in the building material, our protein and our starches, complex carbohydrates with vegetables. In the morning, we put in our fruits. And first act in the morning, though, take that shower. Just the way we take the external shower every morning, we must do the internal shower. Mm. And the internal shower is best accomplished with coconut water as the shower water. Electrolytes, you're talking electrical energy that's going to clean the body out, wash it out, and get it ready. Now, the inner body soap. For the inner body soap, Sasha, you want to pour us some, some inner body yes. soap? We're going with the Noni juice. And back in the days, Noni used to be known as, as uh, Dupi Soasa. Yes. They grow by yeah. the same time in all the tropics. It's a complete cellular detoxifier. Mm -hmm. So the Noni juice is our inner body soap. You can use lemon juice, you can use ginger, you can use mint tea, Cersei, but to wash it out, to flush things out, you get your jelly coconut water, not coffee. Who's gonna take an internal shower with a water looking like coffee? 
and you won't take an external shower with water coming out that color. Coconut water is the way to go. So the inner shower, a shot, and then the, uh, the inner body soap, then the shower water, coconut water. Right. That's how we get, right. we get started with the rhythms of our day. Now, Stacia, so when we think about raw foods at times, I think about food that just isn't yet ready. But as I've been learning from the, Dr. Latam, that it might be much, much wider. So for your Raw Food Challenge JA and the event that you're having, what can we look forward to learning about raw food and tell us where and when so we can join in. All right, so just to add that raw, we use raw. I use raw as an acronym to mean ripe, awakened, and wholesome. So that's the first thing. So the event, Give Me Raw, is January 15, virtual retreat all day. Um, so once you register, and you can register by going to our Instagram pages, at Aris underscore Latam, and at Stasia Davidson. Stasia. And you can just click the link in the bio, and you can register. It's only US $96 for everything that you'll be learning, um, you know, just how to eat and live well. You know, Dr. Latam spoke about some of the, the things that you'll be learning, but we'll be doing a deep dive into that. You'll be learning how to prepare tasty, flavorful, tantalizing, mm -hmm. raw, ripe, and wholesome, sun-fired meals. So appetizer, main course, dessert. Um, so trust me, it's, it's an investment that is worth it. We're starting the year, and trust me, you want to continue the year ripe and wholesome, the sun-fired way. Okay. So January 15, 96 US, only 96 US. I mean, there are people who may want to change the way they eat. And, you know, there's a gradual change. You just don't jump from one corner to the next. So will this particular event help individuals to transition from, you know, the junk food, the holy for meat and rice, processed food. yes, into eating raw, being awakened, mm -hmm. and in a wholesome way? Definitely, definitely, mm -hmm. because the first step, you know, is knowledge. If you don't know better, how can you do better? So um, Dr. Aris will be leading us and teaching us um, the principles behind um, even food combinations, what foods are best to combine for optimal health, what to leave off your plate, mm. because some of what you have, on, not some of what you have on your plate, that's what's causing the illnesses that you have, right? Some things that you think are genetic are, aren't actually genetic. It's just that your family have been eating the same way for generations, so you think that it's genetic when when, when so. Sometimes you just have to take some of these foods off your plate. Um, yeah. So, yes, of course, it would be helping you to live a healthier, livelier, more vital, yeah. you know, a, vital, yeah. a life of vitality. Yeah. Yeah, and, and when it comes to transitioning, basically, initially, step up on the fruits. That's the main thing. Mm. Step up on the fruits so you're going to get your sugar now in a simple way, simple carbohydrate, and cut back on the ground food. Cut back on the starches. Cut, cut back on the complex carbohydrate. Well, that's a cut it out, you know, but slow down with the potato, mm. the rice, you know, the beans and all of these things, and increase the food, the fruit uh, intake, intake mm -hmm. and also cut back on the animal protein and increase the plant protein more nuts and seeds and pear and things of that nature. That sounds remarkably interesting. And I'm sure you will also discuss the amazing mm -hmm. benefits now that people can look forward to seeing as they make this, uh, this transition and then change in their diet following your workshop. Just tell us one more time as we go out where we can go to register and find out more to join in on January 15. So, of course, you can register by clicking the link on our Instagram bio, either at Stasia Davidson or at Aris underscore Latam. So, once you click the link in the bio, it takes you to the, to the registration link, and you can register there. All right. 
All right, we just want to say thank you. And for those persons who are going to be joining your event, I'm sure they're going to be asking the question, how and why do I enjoy the foods that I eat or the foods that I eat? And is it tasty? Eat? Good. So food is not just about nutrition. <laughs> That's our signature. Because yeah. we're looking at fresh food, you know, and we're not cooking the taste out of it. So the aroma you smell going up in steam, that's a lot of the taste that, we, that we're just losing. Yes. So, yes, that's our signature. And also, for the entire time of, of the show, the recipes that we're going to be making, they're going to be full of, a, of Jamaican accent. We're ah, talking. <laughs> there you go. Yes, we're, 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 we're talking pimento, you know, ginger, thyme, mm. scotch bonnet, pepper, curry, all right? <laughs> Which is turmeric, I'm, I'm suspecting. I've lost them there. But um, this, this event is quite timely because food is not just about nutrition, it is social. Yeah. It is how we bond together, it's how we share ideas, mm -hmm. it is how we spend time with our loved ones. And, and it's really, it's about how we encourage, um, or it encourages enjoyment as well as um, having a great meal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's such so a whole all of that coming out in this one. Yes, event. yes, yes. January fifteen, as they said, oh. uh, and so I'm looking out for it. I'm looking out to learning more because you yeah. know I'm looking forward to a more wholesome 2022. Yes, the best way to start is the foods intake. Mm. Yes, indeed. Go.